guys, my name is Pansy and welcome to my vlog channel and today I would like to tell you about 10 ways to surprise your loved one on Valentine's Day. Of course, all these ways to surprise your partner are capable for any day of the year but because in few days will be Valentine's Day so let's speak about that. Also, all these ways are universal so they are okay to do it for men and for women. So let's start. And before we start, I would like to ask you to click on subscribe button, notification button, so you don't miss any of my videos. And of course, don't forget to put a like. So I'm gonna tell you 10 ways to surprise the partner. And in the end, I'm gonna share with you one extra thing what I'm gonna do uh, this year for my husband. So first thing which I would like to advise you, it's of course uh, to start your day beautifully. For this, you can go to your bathroom and uh, uh, write with uh, toothpaste or with your lipstick, the, the one which you hate, of course, uh, lovely uh, words or simply I love you. And in the morning when uh, your partner is going to go to brush his or her teeth, uh, he will see these words and uh, of course the day will start already with a positive mood. Second way to surprise your partner, it's very good to do it after the first one, um, it's uh, to cook something really delicious for breakfast, whatever he likes really. Uh, and uh, of course, don't forget to decorate it beautifully, you can shape the toast with a heart shape, you can buy special um, uh, forms to do sunny side ups uh, in a heart form. So whatever your fantasy is working for, you know, and if you like some dirty jokes and you are okay with that, both of you okay, then you can also make some erotic shape of that using sausages and eggs. I don't know, just saying. Third way is to surprise your partner is uh, to do it uh, in an old way, how people told about their their feelings in old times so to write a love letter for your partner and you can do it on the paper or you can do it uh, in a small photo you can uh, just print out the small photo which can fit in his wallet and write just uh, uh, on the opposite side the things which you want to share uh, with your loved one and of course your partner can put this uh, photo in his wallet or her wallet and uh, look at you and look at the small letter which you wrote whenever he wants to and uh, fourth way to surprise your partner is uh, to write 10-15 small letters for him um, don't make it too much but 10-15 uh, is absolutely enough and you can put it in his pockets in his wallet in his uh, uh, jacket and um, for example, I'm going to do it in his lunchbox. By the way, about lunchbox, extra thing that I would like to share with you. Uh, sometimes I write him uh, small letters on the napkin inside his lunchbox. It can be something cute, but it also can be something funny. Or when we have a small fight or argument, I can write something with sarcasm. And it's really, um, how to say it? it's calmed down the situation because we start to see the situation with a little bit of sense of humor just a little bit advice for you some ideas of what you can use uh, to do to calm down situation okay so the fifth uh, way to make your loved one happy it's mostly for the men i would like to remind you don't forget flowers on this day i don't know especially for eastern european women it's very important and i think every woman would be happy to receive beautiful flowers on this beautiful day it doesn't cost so much you know just do it and for the women of course please don't forget about candles men are not so romantic in general don't expect them to buy this and prepare romantic something for you but uh, we are women are mostly for romance and uh, we are responsible for that just in my opinion so don't forget to buy some candles in the evening you will definitely need it uh six way to surprise your partner it's uh for people who don't have such a strict rules how we have here in germany during this pandemic time any people who actually live uh, outside of europe i think will be able to do that it's uh, to reserve a spa hotel for one night why not just regular hotel why spa hotel because you can actually enjoy the spa treatments you can enjoy saunas you can enjoy 
um, massages and you can lie down together in jacuzzi and enjoy together. Uh, believe me, your body will be relaxed, your mind will be relaxed and um, it will be something different than staying at home this day. So whoever can do it for himself, can book the hotel and spa is open, just do it. You know, sometimes it's important to make this kind of surprises and presents for each other. And even you cannot go somewhere in another city, in another, in another country, you can book spa hotel in your city. The seventh way to sur surprise your partner is, of course, to eat and to eat very well. So I'm talking about restaurants. Again, if they are open, here's nothing open, only takeaway and mostly shawarmas and pizza. So I'm talking again uh, for people who live outside of Europe, uh, to book the restaurant and do it in advance because usually good restaurants are booked in advance if you cannot afford to go to the restaurant or again you are in europe you can always cook something nice you know cook something delicious and now i'm talking about cooking something not heavy mostly i'm talking about aphrodisiac foods it's uh, um, seafood it's a uh, fish and uh, something light something light uh, because uh, believe me with a big heavy dinner you will not be able to have romantic passion in tonight so something light and for dessert nothing also heavy uh, maybe some strawberries if your partner likes whipped cream for example i hate it um do it with whipped cream so something really light and uh, which will uh, keep you a little bit uh, hungry if you drink alcohol don't forget to match alcohol with your food if we are talking about seafood and uh, fish then i would advise you to do it with white wine if you would prefer to have uh, meat uh, this day then of course a uh, nice uh, dry red wine and if you don't drink alcohol just uh, be sure you have something which both of you like you know because drinks are also important eight uh, way to surprise your partner and uh, i would suggest you to do it more often not just once a year of course it's uh, to wear uh, something really sexy something really attractive which you don't wear every day you know especially if you have children it's so difficult to be like always so like amazingly sexy all the time you have seven months baby and sometimes you just don't have energy to like dress up and be super attractive but no but i believe that it's important to keep this attraction going on between each other and maybe it's more eastern european uh, way of thinking but uh, i believe it's important um, I, at least i'm sharing my opinion so um dress up and uh, if you are a woman something like a dress and stockings or whatever you want whatever you think uh, will be like wow for your boyfriend and uh, for a man also don't just wear an old t-shirt and old pants and uh, expect us to be attracted to you we also need to be surprised sometimes yeah i really uh, suggest uh, to keep a little bit secret about yourself and open up uh, different sides of you this makes uh, life between each other more interesting and more exciting uh, and i think uh, how to surprise your partner is to dance uh, strip dance and uh, here i'm talking not to, uh, about women only men can do it as well nothing bad about it really it's actually something even funny you know when men does it it's something unique and interesting and I would suggest you to always uh, surprise your partner where, whenever you can. It's really great. I really believe that it's great. And um, if you don't know how to do it, you can go to fitness classes. Again, if uh, gyms are open, you can uh, take group classes, you can take individual classes. If everything closed or you have a small budget, you can do it on YouTube. There are a bunch of uh, courses online. You can study this strip dance online and uh, then uh, just copy it train a little bit practice few times uh, select the music select outfit and do it why not and tense and final thing before my extra bonus is uh, something which people prefer not to talk about especially in eastern europe like nobody does it like everybody is like holly angel and even if uh, they make love they do it in one position oh, sorry but i wouldn't be myself if i would just ignore this subject 
now i would like to talk about uh shops for adults and again uh a lot of people are shy to talk about it they don't want to uh, say that yes i'm a customer of this shop i personally don't see any bad thing about this or shameful thing because this is a natural uh, activity of human being only if you are a monk you don't do it no uh, so it's a natural activity we all do it our parents did it so let's talk about it so I would suggest to try to buy something there. If you are so shy to go inside the store and uh, purchase something, if somebody will see you, how you're entering or whatever, just do it online. There are a lot of shops online, you can just buy it. And uh, don't be afraid, don't be shy that you will have like transparent package and everybody will see what is inside. No, no way. And the manager who will actually uh, pack everything for you, he sent millions of these kind of packages. So don't think what another person will think about you. Again, it doesn't really matter because this is natural. So if you never did it, just start some from something like uh, light, like nice underwear, nice stockings, something light. And then if you like it, you can uh, try something else. You can speak with your partner and ask what he or she wants uh, to try. You will be surprised. Yeah, just be open with each other. This is part of a uh, relationship and it's also a very important part. So right now I would like to uh, speak about the 11th um, way to surprise your partner. It's a bonus for those who are watching the video until now. Uh, this year I bought a wig uh, with a pink hair and uh, it cost only 16 euro. It's like 17, 18 dollars. I would like to make fun of of my husband i want i would like to pretend that i really dyed my hair and i think he will uh, believe me because the whole pregnancy i wanted to dye my hair into pink and um it's exactly the color which i wanted to uh, color my hair so i think he will believe it it's more for fun i wanted to do it so i did it now i really believe that Sometimes we have to be unpredictable for our partners. Do something silly, to do something crazy, do something romantic, uh, something what he or she doesn't expect. Because that's, uh, I believe, the way to keep still interest in you for the for a lot of a lot of years thanks a lot of guys for watching i shared very simple but doable ideas for valentine's day uh, i hope you liked it please uh, subscribe to my channel and looking forward to see you again bye bye